everybody, it's Friday morning. I'm drinking my coffee, I'm ice rolling my face, and my Whole Foods delivery just came in. Um, I keep like meaning to get a Whole Foods, then it would rain or whatever, and I just honestly got lazy, so I ordered it. Um, and it was very efficient and very nice and lovely. So, I'm a Whole Foods girly now. Here's what I got. We're gonna do a little grocery haul to start off the vlog. Welcome to a weekend in my life. I will show my face soon. I'm just, I'm in my PJs. I'm not ready yet, you know? <laughs> um, so we'll start on this side. I got some Gotham Greens Butterhead Lettuce. I've been really liking Butterhead Lettuce right now. Um, it tastes delicious and it's very soft. Um, so I got this to make salads and then I got some balsamic vinaigrette. Who is she using salad dressing these days? She's enjoying it. I got turkey because I love turkey. This is the family size, thank God, because I always have to like buy two. I got eggs, cantaloupe, cauliflower sandwich thins, my favorite, cauliflower pizza crust. I really like this brand, Outer Isle. I, it's so delicious, truly. Like I'll eat these, I'll put them in the toaster for a little and use them in hummus, or what I really like is using them and putting turkey in between. I got buffalo mozzarella and tomato sauce to make cauliflower pizza. And then I also got the bonza penne, um, which is made from chickpeas. Um, you know, sometimes you just wanna have a pasta night and I just like to have it on hand. So I got that. I needed more hot sauce, oh no. Yeah, did not mean to get chili garlic hot sauce, so ugh. Hopefully, that, I, I don't really know. I don't think I can eat that when I have to. We'll see about that. Bananas, avocados, I got turkey bacon. I've just been having a craving for some turkey bacon in the morning, so I got some to make. Kombucha, I got some green beans. I love cooking green beans. Oh, I'm just realizing they said two items were out. I bet it was, I also got broccoli florets. They must have been sold out. That's kind of weird. And then I also like to get frozen green beans just to have on hand because I didn't have any frozen veggies. It's not my top choice, but it's nice to have frozen veggies, like when in a pinch. Got some chicken breast tenders. I like to eat these over salad with the balsamic vinaigrette or Italian dressing and like mozzarella. It's so good. And then I think that's everything except for I got couscous. I'm gonna try couscous. My friend made it for me for dinner like a month ago and it was delicious. So that is my Whole Foods haul. I'm gonna put this all away and then we're gonna get ready because my friend Kenzie is in town and she's doing a brunch for her brand, The O-Kind. Okay guys, we are getting ready for brunch right now. Kenzie and Jess, who are the founders of The O Kind, are in New York City for the week and for the weekend. Kenzie's been here all week and I still haven't seen her. And they're doing a pop-up at Abode, which is a really cute home decor store in like Soho Nolita. They're doing a pop-up for their brand, The O Kind, and they're doing like a brunch. So, I'm getting ready for that right now. Kenzie texted us and was like, I'm literally wearing like a sweater and Uggs. I was like, okay, perfect. So, I'm just gonna wear this turtleneck dress and I think some cowboy boots in honor of Kenzie. I'm really happy with the glam room. This is so much fun. I decided we're just gonna call it the glam room. Um, if you guys are wondering, I just used the Ella Luz Beauty Oil and the Road Peptide Cream together. Um, now my hands are all slippery. <laughs> It's a good base for makeup. Um, but yeah, so this is my only true plan today is this brunch at 11. Anyways, yeah, so happy Friday. We're doing a week in my weekend in my life in New York City. Um, I literally have no plans this entire weekend, which I'm really, really excited about. I have things I'd like to do, but no set plans, and it's kind of cool, kind of nice. I want more weekends like this in New York where I just kind of like see where it takes you, you know? Um, so, I want pending because I'm on my period today and I'm like cramping hard and just like walking around a lot. It's just, I just want to curl up in a ball. It's that kind of day. Um, I have my door open because it is so hot in here. My last building wasn't like this where like the whole building turns off the air and they turn on the heat, but I'm learning that this is, this building does that. And I like to be in a really cold apartment, so I don't know if I need to get a fan or like What are the vibes? But it's hot in here, but also it's just not that cold out yet. Maybe they thought it was gonna be colder out by now Um, so yeah, we're doing the brunch. Okay, what I was gonna say depending on how I feel I want to go tour Equinox Because I live near an Equinox now and this apartment building doesn't have like amenities 
and I was getting into 12th through 30 and I want to still do it and I've always wanted an excuse to join Equinox and this just might be my excuse um, and I'm also interested in that they have sauna and steam room and a ton of other great amenities um, and they have classes too and I heard their spin classes are pretty good and I feel like that would be a good gateway for me to start spin because I don't know I feel like it's more chill than like soul cycle I don't know and they and I was told they also have soul cycle bikes at Equinox I don't know if that's true so I kind of want to go tour that today um, I already got my groceries so that was something I wanted to do today but we're done with that that's amazing and I might get dinner with my friend Audrey tonight Audrey Trellinger I saw her last night at a Louis Vuitton event, which was really cool, and Future ended up popping out if you guys saw my last vlog. Um, and just kind of see where the night takes us. And then tomorrow, the dogs play at 3.30. They're playing Vandy. Um, so we'll definitely go to the George Bar to watch that. Um, but other than that, I don't really know. I really want to go to the New York Botanical Gardens because they have like a fall slash Halloween situation going over there right now. And I want to do more fall things. Last fall, I feel like I didn't because I was still adjusting to moving and I, you know, whatever. But I feel like that would be fun. Um, we're going to need a lot of bronzer. But yeah, I'm just getting ready. And I thought I'd come here and say hello. I'm excited to see Kenzie and all my friends. Um, who knows, maybe I'll like walk around Soho a little bit after. Good morning, you guys. That's all I got. I'm cramping really bad. I don't want to stand up. <laughs> We're all ready. Just need to pick my sunglasses. I love the sunglass rack. It's linked on my Amazon storefront, which is linked down below always. I feel like we got to go with the Prada. These are my new sunglasses. I've been loving them. Gosh, slick bags are just so easy, you know. Here is the fit for today. Easy, warm, comfortable. Um, I'm going to walk there. I really like just walk everywhere now that I've moved. I love it, it's so lovely. Um, I don't know, I just feel, I feel closer to everything, but I don't really know, I don't know. Dress, Revolve, I will link it below, it's perfect. I need to remind myself to not put this in the dryer. It will shrink and then it won't be long enough. It's literally the perfect length right now. Earrings, you guys kind of know the gist bag um, is Chanel. I got it from Agora Vintage in Athens, but you can shop on their Instagram. Boots are Lucchese. They're my favorite black cowboy boots. So I was going to wear the white cowboy boots, but I didn't really have a white bag. I wanted to. I like to match the shoes in the bag. Okay. Okay. And I also want to wear my tan boot, my cream boot, boots, but they have a little bit more of a heel and we're walking. So this is the fit. I am so, so, so excited. It's a perfect fall day. I also, in my little weekend, what I want to do, I want to get some cute little pumpkins. It's time. The only spooky decoration I have is this. And he is so cute. I got him on Amazon. Um, also on my Amazon shop. But actually, I'll link it below. I don't know if it's on my Amazon shop because it's like Halloween-y. So cute. Um, yeah, I want to get some like little pumpkins, maybe for like my windowsill. I think that would be really cute. And yeah, happy Friday. Let's start the day. This is um literally so fall I can't. Look how it is. It feels like a Thanksgiving. Oh yeah, we're like literally at Thanksgiving right now. Wow. Thank you. Thank you. That's Say hello. My phone case says um. Be the energy you want to attract. Yeah, and Jess. She believes she puts us. She did. You know, it's so good quote. Okay. Okay, we're playing MASH, and I'm, I'm just like haven't done this in so long. This is so, I've said wholesome a lot, I'll stop saying it, but. Well, you do have. I do. Oh, oh, that's not so wholesome. Kenzie's giving me ideas. I'm like, I have to spice it up. Kenzie told me I should put stripper on there, because all mine were like so normal. Um, not so normal, but you know, just like, you know. Anyways, I'm excited, updates to come. They weren't spicy, I needed some spice. You guys, if you know, you know, the new shower head is up and it is draining properly. Everything is good in the world. I am literally so happy. My super finally came while it's gone. 
It's just draining beautifully and my new shower head is just so much less intense than the other one. Got it on Amazon, I will link it below. It's a rainfall shower head. I literally am excited to shower now. I'm just so happy, it's finally, it's a Friday miracle. Today's Amazon package, I got more trash bags. They're like the size for my simple human trash can back there. I got one of these, Brooke has one for her camera and it's just a microphone. I just wanna get the audio better on this camera I'm recording on right now, so hopefully this works. I got these silicone, they're literally just like table mats, but I'm gonna put, the, I got a set of two. They're um, just transparent. I'm gonna put it on the glass on my vanity where the makeup sits so I don't have to clean it all the time. I can just clean the mats. And then I got um, like recycling bags for the recycling side of my trash can. Okay, I just sat and responded to my urgent, urgent emails and just cleaned up a little bit. My counter is like, not very clean right now, but I've got a ton of recycling and trash that I want to take down. So I'm going to take care of those things as well. But right now I'm going to walk over to Equinox. I have been putting it off, but um, like I was saying, this apartment doesn't have a gym. And I was just getting into 12 through 30 and I've always wanted to join Equinox. Anyways, I think I already talked about it in this vlog now that I'm talking. Um, so we're going to go. I just scheduled a little tour visit situation at Equinox. I was like going to wear a workout outfit, but I'm like in full hair and makeup right now. Not full hair, but you know what I mean? Like, yeah, full hair, slick back situation. I was like, I feel like it'll look so try hard if I have a workout outfit with makeup on. So this is very like, I'm not going to work out after we meet. Like I'm just coming to see it so that the next time I want to go work out, I don't have to like go through, you know, I can just like go and I'll have all of the information. I'm pretty set on like joining. He's not gonna have to convince me. Um, but I want to like get the full tour. You know, I want to see what it's all about. So I changed just to like be a little bit more casual. This sweater is from J. Crew. I love it. Jeans are mother jeans. And then I put on my Air Forces. All right, let's go tour gym. Let's go do it. She is an Equinox girly now. <laughs> Guys, I didn't vlog in there because why would I be vlogging while this man is giving me a tour? Um, the guy was so nice. I mean, I obviously went in already knowing I wanted to join, but it was really cool. Like, I don't know, I feel like a lot of people these days will like sign up for a gym or something without even touring it and then just showing up, but like, there's really something to be said about like going to the gym, like not even just Equinox, just like going and meeting with someone there, you talk about your goals. I know sometimes I was like, eh, I don't know if I wanna do it, but they can really provide some info for you. And he gave me like a really nice tour and he, I just like learned a lot more about it rather than if I just like signed up online and showed up. So I'm really thankful I was able to do that. Um, oh my gosh, guys, it was so nice. Like it is so nice and um, I'm really excited to go work out like I just felt so motivated in there the lighting was so nice in there like it just it, it's not like super dark and depressing the the women's locker room was amazing there's a steam room I'm literally so excited like I think sometimes I'm probably just gonna go there to use the steam room sorry I'm gonna do it um, there was a lap pool obviously in like the basement um, and there's just so many classes that I want to try like there's a ball of bangle bar burn class and spin classes which i feel like it could be a good way for me to start doing spin again rather than like jumping into soul cycle but then they also have the soul cycle bike so i'm really pumped i've never actually tried a soul cycle bike i've only done peloton so i'm really really excited um i'm just i'm excited like i if i didn't have dinner plans right now i'm like i just want to like go back there and work out um so yeah i'm an equinox really now i got a free t-shirt as i signed up so was really excited about that but I have about an hour and a half and I think I'm gonna I know like the slick bag is a vibe right now and my makeup looks pretty good but I think I'm literally about to start over because one I want to try my new shower head that sounds weird I just want to like see how it feels and I also really want to wash my hair for like the weekend I think we're gonna wash hair blow dry I have an hour to do all this but I think I can do it I think I can I think I can um so it's another day of Danielle wearing three outfits in one, but whatever. I'm in a good mood. I'm excited. I finally got that Equinox membership. I'm so excited to go. And yeah, I'm about to get dinner with Audrey Challenger because I saw her last night and we were like, we should do dinner. We haven't done anything really one-on-one -on -one since she's moved here. Um, and I really, really love her. So we're going to a place called Loring Place. Makeup's done. I straightened my hair. I'm wearing like an all neutrals outfit this top is from princess polly it's a dark brown these pants i just got from zara i'm obsessed with the perfect amount of like 
parachute. I love how they like come, come in at the bottoms. Um, then I'm just wearing some sneakers because after dinner there's a chance I'm going to meet Ryan and his friends to watch sports. So I didn't really want to be wearing booties. I wish I could just wear this, but I think I'm going to need a jacket. Um, so I have this. It's also brown. There's a lot of neutrals happening here. I'm really into that though. Just like a ton of different shades of brown and cream and everything. Um, so I think this goes. But then where I'm struggling is the purse. I think this is just too many neutrals. But I also feel like a black bag wouldn't look good either. So I don't know. But this fits a lot and it's just nice. <sighs> I don't know. I'm also, I just sat you guys on coffee. I'm just got a little sleepy all of a sudden, so we're drinking some coffee. Uh, but anyways, we're going to a place called Loring Place. Um, Audrey picked it out. I'm excited to hang out with her. Let's go hang out. Okay, I'm here with Audrey. <laughs> They keep sending us things, compliments of the chef, and we're like, what did we do? What did we do? To I feel like we're this? just being nice. Okay, slay. Like, slay, and we both got Moscow get. mules. Yes. This is what you get for being a nice person, guys. <laughs> exactly. Like, so Amazing. We've got hummus. There's Are these radishes? There's many radishes in here yes. right now. Do you like radishes? No. Me neither. I don't think <laughs> I do. I mean, I'm sure I wouldn't mind it if I yeah, tried it, but like, I'm not... And then we have butternut something. I don't know why I'm telling you guys all the food right butternut now. Butternut fries. Butternut fries. Salad. Meat salad. Yummy, yummy. And we love it. Yeah. <laughs> okay, guys, update. So, update. the chef just came out and goes, or what did he say? Like, are you Audrey? Or he, he was just like, hey, like, this is just so, uh, this is so funny. Um, I saw your name come up earlier, and... Which I'm still confused about. Like, where did he see your name? I mean, maybe, maybe he has, like, a seating I don't know. Like, well, he, he was the he chef, to, you guys. Maybe they need to know, though, because if, like, somebody told us does come in, like, do you know what I mean? Like, it, it Oh, like, this is who's at this in, table? And, yeah. it, and they do, maybe he does that one. Yeah, maybe. So, I don't know. So, he saw your name. He saw my name, and he's like... I knew I recognized it, so I like went, I was like, who is this? Like, and he went on Instagram and he was like, oh, I follow this girl, but why do I follow her? Also, I only follow people I know. Why does he follow you? I'm like, mm, why do you follow me? But he was like, my daughter is a huge fan of yours. Well, I mean, he could follow me. Maybe she doesn't have like an Instagram or something. Yes, 100%. So he might, like, she might use his. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he's like, my daughter is a huge fan of yours. So I texted her and I was like, wait, like, do you know this girl? And she's like, of course, like, oh my god, she's my favorite TikTok. You're like, ah, like for you. Asking who I'm here with. And I was like, tell her I'm here with Danielle Carolyn. Like she definitely knows who Danielle Carolyn is. And um he was like, Yeah, so I just like wanted to like send you guys some stuff. I was like, ah, thank you so much. So it was so nice. Very sweet. We just met the chef. He was very nice. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Yes, he was so yeah. sweet. So sweet. Yeah. Yeah. But anyways, yes, there was motive behind the food. Yes, box. and I kind of said, I said to Danielle, you did. I was like, maybe they like looked at our name, like I don't know, like maybe they just looked at the name. And she was right. And recognized us and was like, send those girls to you. But I, that was so nice, like so, so kind, like boring like, place. Nice. And he gave us his card, like if you ever need to get it. Like I love I, that. Um, we are here every Friday night starting out. Also, their Moscow meals are quite good here. They're Lauren really good. Place. They're really good. And um, how you spell the food it. is fantastic as well. So yeah. Food is place. really good. We're eating celery salad and it's freaking delicious. Wait, so. it, it, especially if you're like a big fan of celery, you literally <laughs> like die over this. So celery good. fans would thrive. Celery <laughs> fans would be thriving. Good morning guys. It's Saturday. It's not morning anymore actually. It's 1 p.m. My cramps are off the charts this morning. I'm like, ugh. So, but Brian just left. We've just been hanging out watching TV, which is like my favorite thing to do with him. I have the door open because I guess my air is off for the rest of the winter. I don't understand. My last building didn't do this. Like the heat's on and I don't want it. I don't want it. I like, I don't know if it's like a, a from the south thing, but like I like 
to have my apartment like in the 60s constantly. Last night was so much fun. Audrey and I literally stayed at dinner for like three hours and then she came with me to a house in Holloway. I gotta use my Georgia mug because it's game day. I got my Georgia shirt on too. Um, she came to Houston Hall with me, and then we went to Fiddlesticks, and then we split up after a while. Um, Ryan and I stayed at Fiddlesticks, and Jazz and Hallie came and joined us, and it was really fun. I had never been to Fiddlesticks. Y'all run deep in Fiddlesticks. I met so many subscribers there, and it made me so happy. It made it even more fun. Whenever people are like, I'm sorry if I'm bothering you, if this is weird, like, I feel like I know everything about you. I'm like, I put all my life on the internet. And it also literally makes my night even better. So never ever hesitate from coming up to me, literally ever. So making some coffee finally. I have about an hour to chill before I need to go start getting ready. It's a 3.30 Georgia game. And we're gonna go to the Georgia bar. So I was excited. Right now my body's not excited, so I'm just trying to like chill and sit and drink lots of water. Just took some Advil and hopefully I'll feel a little better, but yeah, that's what's up. Need to figure out my outfit. It's like not cold outside. Like it's literally 67 degrees, basically 70 degrees in my book. It's beautiful out, so happy fall, y'all. Okay, you guys. I just went on Instagram live to get like my social battery up and it really really helped. Thank you all for coming on there Everyone helped me like figure out my outfit. I was like in game day mode But like Georgia game day mode where I felt like I needed to be all dressed up and it's like no I'm literally going to the Georgia bar here. I'm sweating in my apartment right now. It's so freaking hot <laughs> I just don't understand this. I need to buy a fan or something because I'm and like you hear the fan it's on but it's not doing anything. I should just turn it off, it's so loud. The look is just what it is right now. I initially had on a dress and everyone was like, no, you're literally going to watch football. I was like, you're right. I'll show you guys my outfit. Right. <laughs> After much debate, here's the final fit to go watch the dogs play. Literally nothing crazy, just a white tank. This um, faux leather button down is from 12th Tribe, I love it. Jeans are Princess Polly, they've got like a little slit. My black Dunks, and then my black Bottega bag that I'm borrowing from Vivrell for the month. So, Ryan's here. Hey. He's got his Braves hat on and his Georgia jacket on, repping the state of Georgia today. Need a little comeback. Yeah. Oh, really? They just score? No, we need a little comeback. Oh, need a little comeback. Okay. Well, we're going to go have a day, see where it takes us. Let's go. Nelson. What just no. happened? Score? Nelson hit a homer. We're good. We're coming back. A homer? Yeah. Was, were bases loaded? Nope, nobody on base. Hey, we'll take it! <laughs> <laughs> We went to American Whiskey. We went to American Whiskey and we watched the dogs win and then we watched Tennessee beat Bama, which was just, I'm sorry to my Bama fans out there, but that was lovely. But yeah, last night was kind of like our going out night. Tonight I've got all the candles lit. <coughs> it's a vibe. Brian just left. He went to go get like into comfier clothes and he's gonna come back. We were gonna do like go out to dinner because I really wanted to like go to a nice dinner. But it's not like I made any reservations and now I'm like honestly tired. But we wanted hibachi. I would have like gotten up if we got to go to hibachi, but long story long, we Uber Eats flame hibachi. No, not flame hibachi. That's where we were gonna go. Okini, which is a place I found with my mom. And it looks really good. So, um, watching YouTube. And then when Ryan gets back, we're gonna start that bling ring. Either the documentary or the movie. I don't know. I forget. Brooke told me to watch one of them first. Maybe she said the documentary first so that you know. But also she was like, it's kind of fun to watch the movie first. And then you kind of understand the documentary more. You're like, oh, that's what that was. So maybe we'll watch the movie first. I have to find it. We're gonna eat hibachi and cozy up. I'm so happy Ryan's in the mood for a chill night because so was I. It's the best when you're in sync. Um, and then tomorrow we're gonna have a really lovely fall day. And 
that's that. So I thought I'd update you guys. Um, Saturdays, sometimes I don't vlog on the weekends literally because of Saturdays because I feel like it's just not vlog vibes. But I feel like I'm gonna vlog a lot tomorrow and I vlogged a good amount yesterday, I feel like. So yeah, cozied up. I love my couch. It's from West Elm, by the way. I like, haven't really mentioned that. It's the West Elm Hampton couch or Hampton, so Hampton couch, yeah. I just put on this sweatshirt. I just got it from the company 1111. Look how cute this is. Like, got a tennis racket, a little martini, and then it's like the whole bigger one in the back. Same logo, but yeah, it's really comfy. Can't have enough sweatshirts, right? <laughs> Eye patches are on, feeling amazing. Saturday nights in are where it's at. <laughs> Food just got here. I am dreaming. I'm dreaming. This clear soup that they have at Hibachi restaurant slaps so hard. This is mine. I got it with fried rice. Ryan got chicken with white rice. I also got chicken. Um, it looks amazing. Fun fact about me, and I meant to include this on my Uber Eats order, I don't like this sauce. I like the ginger shot, ginger shot, <laughs> the Danielle and me. I like the ginger sauce better. Like, when, like the, a lot of restaurants I to go to, it's like, do you want yummy yummy or goody goody? This is yummy yummy. I always ask for a double goody goody. I don't like this sauce at all. So Ryan's in for a treat. So, dang, they didn't even send the ginger shot. Sh ginger, I just said it again, the ginger shot. <laughs> Anyways, waiting on Ryan, but what a vibe, what a vibe. Okay, we're about to watch Bling Ring on Hulu. I'm so excited. We're gonna watch the movie first and the documentary. I can't stop drinking water out of my Stanley cup. It's linked to my Amazon shop. You guys, I just want to drink water. It keeps it so cold. It's ginormous, so I only have to fill it, refill it up like once a day. It's delicious, or twice a day, I guess. Whatever, you get what I mean. Oh my god. Okay, bagels were gotten. I'm in, I'm, I'm in an obnoxiously good mood right now. So my apartment feels amazing because I've just left the window open. Um, I really just hope a bird doesn't fly in, but that's just another problem I'll deal with later. I am going through my Doing All Daily planner. I created this with Doing All Daily um, two years ago. I absolutely love it. We're not doing any more like drops of this one, but I think she's releasing like the rest of stock on the website soon. So definitely keep an eye out for that. Keep an eye out for Selena. <laughs> So I'm gonna go through and do all these things. I have a lot to do and I'm just trying to figure out what I wanna get done today. Okay, I just did all the phone calls, talked to my mom, my dad, my grandma, my aunt. You know, one of those days I was just like cleaning and um, like talking at the same time. I refilled my supplements. I just kind of fluffed up the couch a little bit. I'm doing laundry. I washed Ryan's sneakers for him. I washed my bath mat. I just love doing laundry. It's very therapeutic for me recently um, and I'm so sad because I found out that the Central Park Boathouse closed yesterday or like at like yesterday was the last day and it did close today I just thought that they'd be open today I'm really sad but my friend went and she said that it was so lovely like you saw all the wait staff hugging each other they were giving out free champagne like honestly I would have cried I'm so sad I never got to do the boats but I'm just hoping some anonymous donor like give some money towards them because such a special place, the Central Park, Bo Central Park Boathouse, the restaurant and the rowboats. Like, I never saw it not busy. So, I don't know, really sad. So I called Ryan, he was really bummed, but we're still gonna go to Central Park because that's kind of what was on our mind. I think it'd be really nice to go for a walk, get some fresh air. We're gonna take the train up there and just walk around and just kind of see, maybe we'll get an early dinner. Um, since we weren't in super rush to like get there before the boats close we ryan's been like just getting a little bit extra work done um so yeah i like put on makeup and i'm just regretting it like i just i just have not been loving like my hair's just annoying me right re late recently all i want to do is put it up i don't even like how it looks up right now i'm not asking for pity i'm just not feeling cute my skin is good which i'm happy about so i can't complain there but i'm officially like not tan anymore so that's always humbling. If you get it, you get it. But I'm also like, I don't need a spray tan for everything. I need to learn how to properly self tan. I'm just not good at it. Um, but anyways, I'll show you guys my outfit. Here's my outfit. I do like my outfit, so I'll take that. This fleece um, crew neck or um, 
zip up situation is from Cuts Clothing. I love their shirts. This is um, just a little fleece situation. I'm absolutely obsessed with it. I layered it with this vest from Zara. I probably could just wear this, but for the looks, we're gonna add the vest as well. Leggings, Lululemon, and then I'm wearing these Vejas sneakers because they tie in really well with like the cream color of the fleece. As for bag, let's pick out a bag. I don't know what we're going to do. Major bag alert. Wow, it's really dark. Hello. I kind of just want to do like this situation, like a fanny pack, you know? This is from H&M. You guys always ask me about this. Eh. Not loving that. Okay. Try again. I have this bag from Bob Orr collection. I really just like don't even want to wear a purse. Should I be crazy and not? I just am not in the mood. Or like if anything like a tote bag. What are they? Okay, this doesn't have, oh it does have zippers. I could probably just get away with, oh I do want to wear sunglasses though. Let's see. I have these from Vela. I think that's how you pronounce it. Ooh, these look kind of cool. I also just got these Ray-Bans that I really like. I actually haven't worn them yet, so. Ooh. These are clean. Hmm. Again, one of those moments I wish this was live so I could ask you guys. I think I'm going to go with these, though, because I don't get a lot of chances to wear these because they're, like, very brown and, like, I don't know, I feel like they go really well with brown outfits. So, I know you guys are on the edge of your seat. <laughs> We're gonna do this. Um, and bag, I think I'm just gonna do a tote bag or like put my ID and wallet in like my vest. So, I'm excited to have a little fall day. It'd be really fun. Actually on the hunt last year around this time we took a Polaroid with this guy and a lot of you guys were like obsessed with this photo it was like a Polaroid black and white so we're gonna see if he's here today and we can recreate it my hair's I look definitely different today but I think it'll be fun to have like a new shot at it so we're on the hunt for our Polaroid guy guys we found it we just took our photo it's developing We just walked towards the boathouse, and I think the restaurant's closed, but the boats are still rowing. Ryan, we have to go. <laughs> this is serendipity. Isn't that how you use that word? Guys, I'm gonna cry. We got there, and we, like, ran there, and, like, the people, like, the few people in front of us got to be the last people because they closed at 4.30, and they, indeed, are gonna be closed for good after today. Ugh. Sucks. Well, I don't know why I'm gonna cry. <laughs> it was like false hope. I got so excited. So I guess the restaurant closed yesterday, but today was the last day of the boats. Mm. Well, I was like, let's at least go watch the boats. We can watch them enjoy the romantic sunset boat ride. <laughs> Hopefully, they'll be back. They'll be back. I mean, they have all the boats. Sad. Okay, we didn't get to do the boat, but we came across the whole cast of Marvelous Mrs. Maisel. Oh, what is that? That's a nice neighbor. Nice neighbor. Okay, for dinner, I was looking on Resi, and the American bar pop-up in Nordstrom is here, and they had a reservation at 6, so we were like, let's do it. Um, so we're going up there now. I'm so excited. I'm collecting these matches for my vase and they just gave us two of them.
just got back. We're gonna put my American bar thing in there. It's so exciting. So I just got back and I'm just feeling so fulfilled. Like today was such a lovely day. I just haven't had a weekend in general in New York City where I just kind of, or in a while, since like the summer. Cause the summer is just so crazy where it's just kind of like, let's just see where the weekend takes us. And it's been so lovely. And Ryan and I just got such amazing quality time today. I was just in such a good mood. He was in such a good mood. Today's one of those days. It's like, I love living in New York City. Central Park was beautiful. The foliage was like just starting and it was just amazing. I'll probably go again, obviously in the next month or so just to see the leaves again. But yeah, so I'm back now. It's only like eight o'clock. I'm gonna do a little, um, a little work, a little computer work. I'm gonna maybe do a face mask. I always say that and I like never do. Um, I also need to put, you can't really see cause my Aroma 360 is blocking it, but my black wire, my TV's been really annoying me and I have a wire cover, <laughs> wire covers. I want to put the wire cover on. I don't know if I'm going to do that tonight or not. And just kind of a general clean. You guys know the gist, do a little bit more laundry. So yeah, let's do it. Wait, I don't even know if I showed you guys the Polaroids. This was today's Polaroid. Um, we soft smiled in last year's and I wish we remembered to soft smile again just to keep it super consistent. But we sat on the same sides and it's so cute. So we have a little tradition going. Here's last year's, it's so sweet. decided to take a shower just to kind of my apartment's nice and chilly it feels good because I've been leaving the windows open I'm just gonna start doing that and fresh air is good um, but anyways I just took a nice hot shower and I put on this fat face mask it's the zit sticka press refresh hydrogel exfoliating sheet mask soothes breakouts unclogs pores and smooths uneven texture so I just have like a whole bag full of face masks so I just put this one on it's like Kind of tingling a little bit usually i go for a hydrating one but my skin's texture has just been kind of all over the place so i was like actually this one might be good feels like it's working and it's a hydrogel so it feels kind of moisturizing so um but i'll like lock it in with some moisturizer after this but yeah i've just got this on I'm listening to a podcast it's only eight o'clock just so nice like i feel like like i don't have to go to bed right now it's so crazy <laughs> Hot tip, I mean it's not revolutionary, but I do this sometimes when it's chillier outside or my apartment's cold. I'll put my PJs or whatever I'm wearing to bed in the dryer, even just for like 10 minutes. Oh, this feels so good and it's nice and warm and it de-wrinkles too. I'm gonna wear my Lunia like dress shirt, pajama shirt, dress thing. Vibes, vibes, vibes. I, I said this in my last vlog, but I literally feel like Serena Vanderwoodson when her and Nate hook up and she's in a shirt. This is like purposely a dress. It's from Lunia, L-U-N-Y-A. I love their PJs. I have like a flannel white and tan set that I wear a lot. That's also from Lunia. <sighs> that is a wrap for this weekend of my life vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I enjoyed taking you guys along with me. More videos to come. I post twice a week, every Wednesday and Sunday. Please subscribe. It would mean the world to me. It'd be really cool to, uh, hit 600,000 subscribers. That would be a fun little thing to do by the end of the year. I mean, that definitely won't happen by the end of the year, but that'd be cool. So, love you guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.